I really hope that this is the right way. Um, yeah. Hurry, Hello. Endar, hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will. He sent him there. Run, Hindar, run! Run, boy! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! Oh, for fuck's sake. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. Okay, calm down. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Let me murder him. Open the gate. I will kill the rat ghouls. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. Shut up. Let's talk and we're fighting. For you, but you got to be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Let's go, Karth. Die! Karth. There you go, buddy. Oh, God. Um. There we go. Yay! Heal! Yay, we can has come in now. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. Figures. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Yeah, this has been a kind of crazy day. And hooray, light side points. Uh, heal! Let me out. Thank you for saving Hindar. You are are braver than I, Upworlder. That's not saying much. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Money, and lots of it. Uh, who are you? I'm Trellin, from the outcast village. Pleased to meet you. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Get the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. I haven't been to Gendar yet, have I? Oh wait, yeah, I have. Wait, have I? I think so. Goodbye, Upworlder. Can I come out. Oh, I can go out. All right. Um. Sith Patrol. Please, you have huh? to help me. Hello, no mission. Else is gonna help me. Even the Vex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? God, kind of mission. Where'd you come from? Whoa, slow down, mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We hmm. have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. That's not good. Calm down, mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Mm -hmm. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. Gamorreans! They didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Oh, do you, know, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorreans like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. Ha! That's probably where they took Big Z. Okay, if I help you get Zalbar back, you have to get me inside the Volcar base. Uh, yeah. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volcar base. Now come on! We have to find Zalbar before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Sweet! Mission has joined our party, and she's going to stay with us the entire game. 
She is a smuggler. A life side smuggler, that is. Which is... Oh, no, they're called scoundrels. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Uh... Well, whatever. But yeah, basically, thief. She is super duper duper handy. Let's take a look at her real quick. Oh, I got level up too. Sweet! Oh, by the way, uh, one thing that's different about this game from KOTOR 2. Um, your party's light and dark side levels never change in KOTOR 1. KOTOR 2... You can turn somebody that's hardcore evil into hardcore good, and vice versa. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's, let's get some level ups. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll wait on his. Okay, let's take a look at mission, alright? You know, he's got average strength, great dexterity, you want to keep boosting that. Constitution's alright, intelligence is good, wisdom and charisma are eh. Very average, um, excuse me. Level up. Attributes. She has very, very low hit points, unfortunately. Despite all her awesomeness, she is rather weak. Okay, we're going to keep pumping up... Uh, maybe I should... No. Nah, we're going to keep pumping up Dexterity. Just because. Besides, Dexterity gives her a better chance to dodge shit. And, uh... You know, she can hit better. So, whatever. Skills. Uh, she does... Oh, she's in the demolitions. All right. Okay. Oh, cool. I picked right by choosing a repair for me. Uh, security. She does all your thiefy stuff. Security. She has a lot of points. For be, um, scoundrels slash smugglers slash whatever get the most skill points, and she has a pretty good intelligence too, so she gets bonuses from that. So, security, stealth, demolitions. Uh, computer use. What? Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. It costs too much for that. Well, still. She's going to be my computer user. I'm sort of. Or, well... I may be able to use... The, the part number I want to use... Hopefully, they can do computer use. That way, I'll have everything covered. I've got awareness, persuade... And uh, repair cover to my guy. Everybody will have a little bit of treat injury, I guess. And she's got demolition, stealth, security. So, uh, yeah, very handy. Uh, except only 28 hit points. That is a shame. Uh, my turn. Roar! 54 hit points. Um, skills. Uh, awareness. Persuade. Ah, persuade costs two. That's lame. Um, I'm going to pump up repair first and do awareness later. Sweet. Go repair. Feats. Uh, yeah, improved two-handed weapon. I'm not even going to look at anything else. Take that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> he has, like, more than double her hit points. That's ridiculous. Look at this. I'm a scout and I have more hit points than a pure fighter. Go me. Okay, um. Armor, let's make sure our little little mission here is uh, outfitted properly. Self field generator. Uh, blaster pistol. Let's put. Uh, oh, she has a vibro blade. Alright. Can she, only she use it? Or can I use it? Because that'd be uh, handy. She is not fighting up close. Just forget that noise. Gotta give her the heavy blaster. Let's give her a blaster pistol. It'll work just fine. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's just close. Combat suit. There we go. Yeah! Mission is ready to rumble. Um, there was, oh yeah, I was going to see if uh, I could use that blade. Um, damage bonus, so it does like, what, 2 to 11 instead? Has a better, has a better crit range, that's good. Uh, yeah...
Yeah, we're going to roll with that. We go from 3 to 14 to 4 to 13. That's just fine, actually. These two Vibra Blades. And plus that Longsword is getting a little long in the tooth, if you'll pardon the pun. Yeah! All right, let's dice up some uh, Sith Patrols. You there, civilian. Huh? This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? I'm looting, pillaging, and uh, other such things. Look, I've got all the proper security paper. Um, I think I got, yeah. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've hmm. had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Oh. We've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Yeah, because that's how all the tough guys do it. Uh, you said you lost one patrol already. What was that while you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send it to anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. Interesting. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Gee. You just follow your orders and keep looking. Well, why don't you just give up the search? Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was Me neither. talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner Oops, we get this sorry. search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. Move out. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we avoided a fight. We would have kicked the shit out of him, but, eh. As long as there's a, a dead patrol somewhere, that's good enough. We can get him eventually. Wait, where are they? Oh, um... Frag grenade go? Oh, the whiff. Pfft, he didn't even notice. Whatever. Char oh, God. There's like a million of them. Uh, now attack! No, don't kill mission! Oh, wow. I fucked him up. Frag grenade, go! Yeah, you jerk! Oh, man, I'm just destroying these people. Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me! Oh, God. I may have bitten off more than I could chew. Yeah, that's one down. Two down. Oh my god, they just got murdered. And, uh, yeah, she's a pretty good shot. So, uh, let's see. Corpse! Um, uh, Pierce Frank, okay. Corpse is a Sith soldier. Ah! Rat Ghoul Serum? Uh, yoink! I'll be taking that, sir. And you have new armor. Um, it's not better than what I have, so F you. Whoops. Let's see, what do you got? Uh, it's no better. F you. What do you got? Combat suit. Um, she doesn't have enough to get her full dexterity bonus yet, so the heavy combat suit is fine. Look at that. Much better. Much better. And, uh... Let's see. What? There we go. Wait, didn't I already loot that? No. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, I guess that's why we had to go this way. Still the corpse. Yay. Um. Sewer entrance, go! Uh, let's see if we can make it through the sewers before I call it quits. There's Gamorreans down here somewhere. If you don't remember who the Gamorians are, you'll see very shortly. When I was a kid, I used to love these guys. I don't remember, really re remember what, why. I'm starting to sound like this. Oh, look at these! They look like orcs! They look like giant pigmen! Um, it's not going to go!
Yep, giant pigmen. I think these guys are cool just because, like, you know, they were big brutes. But they are dumb as hell. And they drop like a sack of rocks. Corpse! Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Let's go this way. Voila! Um, this way. Really not sure where to go. So we're just gonna kind of stumble around until we come across. Oh, hello. Saw grenade go. Ooh, that messed him up. Ooh, da 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 da. -da. Outcast corpse. Uh, I promise, saying journal. Oh, that's sad. Skeletal the corpse. Money. Um, guess what, kids? It's uh med pack time. There we go. Let's go this way. Oh, I think I heard something. Hello, Gamorians. Charge! Use flurry. Maybe you'll actually hit them for once. And I completely whiffed again. I'm so awesome. Oh god, they hit me for two damage. Wow, these are like the wussiest Gamorians ever. Really, guys? This is all you can give me? I must say, I'm very disappointed in you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna kite. <laughs> just let him get the shit shot out of him. Uh, is there Gamorian war axes? Maybe that's a different. Maybe it's not in this game. Uh, let's go over here. Gamorian patrol. Only one of them. Time to die, boy. Wow, you got fucked up. Yeah, we were just rampaging through them. See how much of a difference the mission makes? And we were just dicing through everything. And like, yeah, she's not a fighter. But with that high-ass dexterity, you know, she's much better suited for two-weapon fighting. And uh, it's just like a thief in, you know, D&D &D or something like that. They make excellent archers. Not that they can't be good fighters, too, don't get me wrong, but mission is just too weak hit point-wise to do that. So, yeah. Oh, I hit him with all three hits of a flurry! That's a, like a first, ladies and gentlemen. For me, anyway. From this LP, I'm sure I've done it. Ooh. Heal! Yay. Good times, good times. Um, I really don't know where I'm going. Oh, hello. Flurry! And a complete riff. Okay, um... Let's go check the little door here. Uh, let's go the corpse. Money. What do you got to say, Mission? Hey there. What can I do for you? Hey there. Uh, I want to know a little bit more about you, Mission. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Uh, what's... No, why not? <laughs> uh, only problem is she's like 14 or something, so... Mm. Uh... How did you and Zabar hook up? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. I guess they're dead. It was me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few yeah, not much has changed. Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Who'd want to pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Vulgars were smart, but there Good were point. three of them. So, maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Vulgars at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. Yeah! I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! And charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hmm. Smacking a kid? Those Volkars have no class. Hey, don't treat me like 
like I'm a little girl. I ain't no kid. I'm 14 years old. Ah, I caught it. Those I didn't remember. Scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. Roar! What did the two Volkars do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. Yay. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. That would've been sweet. Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. Ah. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay upwind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Ah. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for, for each other, you know? That's a nice little story. How did Zalbar end up on Terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. No kidding. It doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Good call, good call. How did you survive before you met Zalbar? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. You're 14. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know. Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Uh, I'm just going back to the task at hand. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. It depends. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing huh. personal. Let's just get back to the business pan, okay? Okie dokie. Maybe some other time. You're gonna be around for a while, so yeah. Some other time. Mission is awesome. What? She really is. Huh? Okay. Recover the mine. Sweet. Free mine. We can sell those! That's why I usually I never actually use mines. I'm too lazy for that. Um, let's chop them up good! Or. Oh god, there's like four of them. Oh god, there's three of them. Oh god, there's. Uh, two of them. Oh no, there's one of them. Oh no, there's none of them. This is going a lot better than I thought. Maybe those ones in the village are just like super powered or something. Med pack. Shut up. Yay. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Let's go to the one over here. Aww. Wait a minute. My map is wrong or something. Whatever. Oh wait. Never mind. Corpse. Stuff. I should be using some of these stimulants or whatever. They are actually very, very nice. Uh, I think I came from the other way, so. Um, this way? Ooh, that door is no bueno. It's just making all sorts of noises that I shouldn't be making. Whoa, hello, rock ghouls. Charge! I well, hit him with one thing, I guess, before he wasn't a complete waste of time. They are getting murdered. Mm -hmm. Pure spike! Yes, I get it. Come on, mission. Sweet. Sure. Free mines. Corpse. Oh yeah, I already looted that one, I guess. 
Locked. One. Yeah. Come on, mission. You again. Gotcha. Woohoo! Uh oh. Sniper shot, go! Phew! Phew! If nothing else, she's consistent. She doesn't have to make whiffs. Like Karth. Karth misses like every freaking shot. I gotta give Karth credit that time. He dropped that one. We'll play this mission for. Oh my god! Ah! Pew pew! This is great. No! Oh god, he chopped me up real good. Poor mission cannot take much punishment at all. She just took 19 damage from that. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer code to nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You wow. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Nice. Salbar! <laughs> You're a Cypher Sore Eyes mission. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Daw! <laughs> Who's that with you? Jeez. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Good to meet you, Zalbar. I'm Ralph Massa. You know the language of my people? That's rare among your species. I am impressed. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There's only one way I can ever repay such an act. I will swear a life debt to you. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. I'm sure, Mission. This is an issue of great importance to me. Because of our great physical strength, Wookiees are being used as slave labor on our own homeworld. They see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villages. When the Gamorreans captured me, I thought I was doomed to a life of servitude. I have been saved from such a fate, and the only way I can repay that is through a life debt. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life debt to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize what it means? Is this, is this my slave now? Yes. Yeah. It's some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. In the presence of you, all I swear my life debt. Forever after I will be here by your side, Rafmasa. May my vow be as strong as the roots of the great... Rosher? War, 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 Worcestershire trees. Yes, Worcestershire trees. That's where they get Worcestershire sauce in the Star Wars universe. It's Kashyyyk. Worcestershire trees of Kashyyyk. Uh, I'm ex honored to accept his vow. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not going to happen again. I'm glad to have you aboard, Mission. So... I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a backdoor into that scum den. Sweet. Good. The sooner we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. Like Sorry. Rancor monster isn't still there. Rancor? Are you serious? Whoa! Nobody said anything about a Rancor monster. There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. It's huge. Luckily, Rancors aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Oh, that sounds like a saucy little uh, challenge there, young lady. I accept. That's not really an option. Let's go. Okay, then. Off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Zabar, so join your party. Remember, you can only have two party members with you at any time. The others will wait for you back at the apartment. 
You can switch party members using the party selection screen, accessible by pressing A while on the map screen. This button is disabled in areas that are considered dangerous. Press A to go to the party selection screen. <laughs> 